Meanwhile, tonight, this all comes as Florida parents are still grappling with a difficult decision to send their kids back to school. You may be interested in hearing what Florida lawmakers themselves are doing with their own children. The I-team's Katie Legrone found out and has their revealing answers. As a parent of two young, healthy little boys, what do I do? Send them to school and risk exposing them to a scary virus or tear my hair out by trying to school them from home while I'm working under deadline every day. So I asked lawmakers, what are you doing? Florida politicians on the record about their own school plans amid the ongoing pandemic. I would not have any uh, problem uh, having them in school. That's what the governor said before adding his children aren't actually old enough to attend school yet. But U.S. Senator Marco Rubio's children are. And when recently asked if he's planning to send his kids back to a brick and mortar school in Miami. The answer to that question is yes. Go down the list of Florida lawmakers and their upcoming school choice seems to follow their politics. We think there's a lot of reasons kids go to school beyond just the education factor. Republican Senator Jeff Brandis is a father of four who represents Pinellas County. What are your plans for your own children? if you don't mind sharing. Yeah, so we're sending our kids to school next year. Brandis said his children all go to a religious private school and admits he and his wife are still on the fence about their youngest. As a little boy who's six years old, I can't see him wearing a mask. Uh, every day to school and that, that being something that he does successfully. So we've, we've struggled with that one. No struggle for Democratic Senator Oscar Brainin, who represents parts of Miami-Dade and Broward counties, hardest hit by the coronavirus. We are the epicenter of the state that is the epicenter makes this probably one of the most dangerous places in the world to send your child back to school. I don't feel comfortable sending my kids back to a closed up school. Brainin, one of three Democrats who told us they're not sending their children back to campus this year, instead opting for distance or virtual learning. Should the numbers change drastically in the next four to five weeks, then I would reconsider. Some school districts have already made that choice for parents. We asked about 100 Florida lawmakers about their families' school plans. Less than 20% responded. Of those with kids in grades K through 12, the majority who responded, Republicans, who told us they are sending their children back to campus. This was not an easy decision for us, stated Republican Representative Nick DeSigley, whose kids attend a private school on Florida's West Coast. Democratic Senator Jason Pizzo of Miami told us he's undecided, but as of today, would not be comfortable sending his kids back to campus. And Republican Representative Jackie Toledo wouldn't say either way, stating in part, Regardless of what my children's schooling options are, parents want to see their children safe, and we should work towards returning our children to a safe and healthy learning environment. All the lawmakers agree the state has to offer families options, and only families can make the right decisions for them. I'm my team investigator Katie Legrone, taking action for you.